क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन से सम हीट इज सप्लाइड एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर टू अ डायटमिक गैस द पार्ट ऑफ दिस हीट यूज टू इंक्रीज इट्स इंटरनल एनर्जी विल बी डियर स्टूडेंट्स द हीट सप्लाइड विल बी इक्वल टू सी पी इंटू डेल्टा टी इंटू एन सी पी इज द मोल स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर डेल्टा टी इज द टेम्परेचर चेंज एंड एन इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स सो दिस विल बी दीट सप्लाई द इंटरनल एनर्जी चेंज विल बी इक्वल टू एन सी वी डेल्टा टी where cv is the molar specific heat capacity at constant volume we have to find out that what fraction of q is delta u which means we have to find out delta u by q which will be equal to cv by cp dear students here in cp by cv in thermodynamics is equal to gamma therefore cv by cp will be equal to 1 by gamma we have to find out the value of therefore 1 by gamma the gas is given to be equal to diatomic which means that the 1 by gamma will have a value of 5 by 7 and hence therefore option number 2 is the correct answer now let us proceed to question number 42 question number 42 says the coefficient of performance of a carnot refrigerator is 7 if temperature inside freezer is minus 7 degree celsius then the temperature of the surrounding to which it rejects heat is dear students the coefficient of performance for refrigerator is equal to q2 by w which will be equal to t2 by t1 minus t2 T1 here is the temperature of the surrounding, and T2 is the temperature inside the freezer. Beta is the coefficient of performance. Therefore, we can write that 7 will be equal to 266 Kelvin. That is, we have converted minus 7 degree Celsius to Kelvin, which will be equal to 266 Kelvin. Divide by T minus 266. This will be on solving this expression, we find out the value of T, and it turns out to be equal to 304 kelvin which will be equal to 31 degree celsius and hence option number 4 is the correct answer now let us solve question number 43 question number 43 says the pressure volume plots for two gases during adiabatic processes are shown in the figure the graphs of a and b may correspond to dear students for an adiabatic process pv to the power gamma is a constant the slope of such a graph that is dp by dv is equal to minus gamma p by v gamma for a monoatomic gas is greater than the gamma for a diatomic gas which means that the slope dp by dv for monoatomic gas will be greater than dp by dv that is slope for diatomic gas we are here talking specifically about the magnitude of the slope so we can also draw a modulus sign Dear students, from the graph we can see that answer number one should be the correct answer because A has the greater slope than B, therefore A should be monoatomic and B should be diatomic. Now let us proceed to question number forty-four. Question forty-four says one mole of an ideal gas is contained within a cylinder by a frictionless piston and is at temperature three hundred Kelvin. In an isothermal process, its volume is doubled. If R is universal gas constant. then the work done by the gas on increasing its volume is dear students in an isothermal process the work done is equal to n r t ln v final by v initial where v is represents the volume then in the number of moles is 1 we multiply it by r and t which is 300 kelvin into ln Now since the volume is double, the ratio of final to initial volume will be two. So this will be equal to three hundred R ln two, which makes option number two as the correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number forty-five. Question forty-five says the figure shows pressure volume diagram for a thermodynamic cycle for an ideal gas. Which corresponding curve is correct? Process C A is isothermal. Dear students. C is given to be isothermal. We can see that the process B C is isobaric as the pressure remains constant, and A B is isochoric as the volume remains constant. Dear students, we have to check that in which of the following graphs the P T graph is correctly represented. Dear students, from A to C, the temperature should remain constant. we can see all the graphs and see 
that option number one cannot be the answer because from A to C the temperature is varying while in other options A to C temperature is constant. These students we can also see in the isothermal process A to C that the pressure is increasing from C to A while in option number two from C to A pressure is decreasing therefore it cannot be an answer while in the third option as well from C to A pressure is decreasing therefore third option cannot be an answer. In fourth option from C to A the pressure is increasing so it can be our answer. Let us check the processes A to B and B to C as well. The process A to B is an isochoric process which means that pressure will be proportional to temperature and in this case from A to B the pressure would decrease. This is correctly represented in the path AB in this particular diagram in option number 4. So therefore path AB is also correctly represented. In path B to C the pressure should remain constant and since the volume is increasing the temperature should increase as well. Therefore it is also correctly represented on option 4 and hence option number 4 is the correct answer for this question. Dear students this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this test. I hope you understood all the questions correctly and the solutions. I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you for watching and God bless you.